What's up everybody, Christian James here. Today's video, I'm gonna review Tim Horton's two new Dream Donuts. So first one I got here is pretzel chocolate brownie or something. What the hell is it? Something to do with pretzel and fudge, name's right here. Okay. So it's a regular ring chocolate donut. It has fudge and look to be crushed up pretzel on it and a little bit of whipped cream in the middle. All right. But what I'm excited for, I really like fudge, is gingerbread. Something, something, something gingerbread. The name is right here. The name's not important. What's important is the taste. So I got myself a large dark roast coffee. All right. One bite. Let's go. It tastes like a regular chocolate ring donut. Yeah, there's crunchy stuff on top, but it's not making any difference. I'll give it one more go, but. All right, that one I give three out of 10. It tastes good but it tastes identical to a double chocolate donut yeah i got some whipped cream in my mustache that had a slightly different taste for the amount i got there was the slightest hint in the second bite of pretzel a little bit of salt the crunch was different but it wasn't enough to change the donut it's the same donut with whipped cream and crunchy bits on top that i ain't all that crunchy three out of ten if you like double chocolate donuts Get that down at Save Yourself 70 cents. If you want to try it, mark my words, it's pretty much the same. All right, I got the gingerbread one. Now, the little gingerbread man on top, I'm not pulling them off, including the bite. I think there's chocolate in the middle. I'm not really sure, but again, that's the name. I said one bite. I'm going to try one bite. Let's go. So a bite with the gingerbread man gives it a nice gingerbread flavor. That is legit. Yeah, it seems to be just chocolate, chocolate ganache or whatever, chocolate filling they have in the middle. This one I give a, an 8 out of 10, right? The, my problem is, the reason I got 8, there's not nearly enough gingerbread to go around for the whole donut. It's fresh. It weighs more than the donut. It feels like you're getting more bang for your buck. But... At the end of the day, it needs an extra gingerbread man to make it all the way around to be a gingerbread donut. Otherwise, just a gingerbread topping on a donut. So, pretzel fudge, 3 out of 10. Tastes too similar to a double chocolate. And then the gingerbread donut, 8 out of 10. It tastes like gingerbread for the first bite. I have one more bite left with the gingerbread man. It's fresh. It has chocolate filling, which I can't remember chocolate filling. And it, it simply weighs more, which means like you're feeling more, it feels like you're getting more for your back, your buck. But in the day, you know what? This is an eight. I'll give it a six. So three, six, two thumbs down. This is the problem with Tim Hortons, folks. They come out with new stuff, which is the same stuff, just remixed. We're just going to throw something on it and charge you an extra 70 cents. And they can't figure out where all the customers went. Here's a simple one. Tim Hortons. You guys want people to come back. You want people to be excited about an actual new product that's not a frozen drink? Bring back the walnut crunch, unch, 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 unch. They won't. They don't listen to customers. Like, comment, subscribe. 3 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I'm out.